Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty tie angel ornament. Yes, this is made out of a necktie. Now, if you don't have any neckties, go look in your local thrift shops, Goodwill, whatnot. You can find lots of ties there. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, friends, we are going to make a tie angel. What's a tie angel? It's an angel that you can use as an ornament or to hang anywhere, and it's made out of a neck tie. So first off, you're going to need a neck tie. And it's something with which to measure and something with which to cut. I have my dirty, dirty craft scissors over here. Um, so we are going to take our tape measure, ruler, what have you. And this is the wide part of the tie, okay? You're going to measure from this point measure up 10 inches. Now listen, if your tie is wide, you might want to cut it longer, maybe a foot. If your tie is very narrow, you might want to cut it shorter. You know, just watch me put it together and then you can kind of decide, you know, whichever tie you have about, about how long you want to make it. So anyway, I'm going to measure up about 10 inches. It doesn't have to be exact at all. And then we are going to cut it like so, just straight across. All right, let's get that out of the way. So now you wanna come back here and this should be fairly easy now that we've cut that. Just kinda of pull the fabric apart. Let's get out, out of the way. Just kinda of pull the fabric like this and then you're gonna have this liner, okay? It's what gives the tie its structure. Cut that out. You can see about how far down I went, maybe about an inch. Just kinda of cut that out, okay? That's just gonna make it easier for us to glue it together here in a second, okay? That's the reason why I'm doing that, okay? Now we're gonna fold it back up and we're gonna use a little bit of hot glue. Okay, so now we have our cut edge up here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold down these two corners here and then you're gonna hot glue them in place, okay? So I'm just gonna put a blob right there of hot glue and just gonna fold that down. It's just gonna kind of seal this edge here and just make it a little bit more sturdy. You're gonna see what I'm talking about here in a minute. So we get that there and just kind of fold that down. <laughs> Long nails activate. <laughs> They're very useful when it comes to crafting. I use them as tools. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is take this in and we are going to bend this over and you see how we've made like a little loop right here? So sort of like a little pocket. That's what we're going for. Now, if you turn it over and look, this is how long your angel's going to be, okay? Now, if you want it to be longer, then of course, you know, don't make your loop as big. And you could pull it down to make it shorter, you know, however you want to do it. But you're going to see why we made that loop here just in a second. So I'm just going to bend this over, fold this over, and let's just hold that in place until that glue sets up. Now, let's flip it back over. I'm going to be using a piece of floral wire. You can use twine, whatever you want to use. But you're just going to run it through that loop right there. Okay. And now I'm just going to bring this up. I'm going to, <laughs> I know, I'm tying wire. But I'm just going to tie it like so. And then just kind of work it down so that this part here is flat, okay? You might just have to manipulate <laughs> that loop that we made. Just kind of bring it down a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to, yeah, I'm tying a knot with wire. Why? Because I can't find my, my twine. Okay. So, you see how this is nice and flat here? You need that to be flat so that we can attach the head. And I'm going to do it one more time. Somebody out there is going to say, why are you tying wire? I just told you why. All right, so now let's cut this like so. Let's see, right about there looks good. Okay, okay, so now we have that, and that is flat. Now we're going to make the arms. Now, for the arms, we're going to be using the skinny part of the tie. So let's just find a good part of the tie that we can cut. That looks good. Rotter. And let's see. Um, I have a few ties. I got them at Goodwill to use in crafts, and some of them, you know, they flare at different points. I, so, you know, just make sure that whatever piece that you cut um, is about the same width, you know. 
so it'll look a little bit better. So now you're going to take this and you're going to tie a knot. This knot is going to be the angel's hands. Okay. So you're just going to tie a knot. And I think I'm going to leave it to where this part is in front. Let's see. Do I want to do that? No, we'll put that part in front. Well, there's the seam. You know what? Let's try to twist that and get that to where we don't see that seam. That looks good. Okay. So now we're just going to take this. Like I said, this is going to be your angel's arms. And we're just going to bring it around and you're going to hot glue it to the back. So let me hold it here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's bring it around. And I'm just going to hot glue it here. And of course, I will trim off all this excess, okay? Don't worry about that. I'll trim it off once the glue sets up, all right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hold this in place and then we'll come back and do the other side. Okay, so you see how I glued both ends there and trimmed it down. And now this is the front of our angel. All right, so now we need to put the head on and then we could do the wings or do the wings first. Ah, let's put the head on first. That way we can kind of judge how big to make the wings a little bit better. So we're going to be using a Christmas ornament for the head. Now, I wish I had like a, like a satin finish one, but the only silver ones I have are the glittery ones. You use whatever kind you want to use. So I'm just going to glue this right here. See, that's why I kept, you know, saying that this here needs to be nice and flat. And then I'm going to glue it with this part up, okay? Because that's how you're going to hang it. Let's see how you will put that on there. We'll do it like so, okay? Now let's just hold it in place, okay? So this is what we have now. Let's get some, where did it go? I had some ribbon. Ah, ah. Silver sparkly ribbon to go with the silver sparkly head up here. So now what we're going to do is let's measure about how wide we want our wings. And I say that looks pretty good. So I'm going to bend this in half and then cut it here, okay? That looks good. Now I'm gonna cut three of these. Now that we have our three loops, you're just gonna bend them like so, and then we're gonna glue them together, okay? Glue the ends together to make loops, and I'm gonna do this for all three of the pieces that we just cut. Okay, so I've got all three of our loops made, and now I'm just cutting a piece of this floral wire here. Okay, and I'm going to just sort of bend that in half, like so. Lay that over there. Okie dokie. So, we're going to glue it to the table. <laughs> so, this is the part where we had glued. I'm going to have that to the back. So, now you're, we're going to do this with each one of these loops. Kind of bend it forward at the halfway point, and then bend it back. And I got glue on me. Okay, and bend it back. See? And it looks like this. It'll look a lot better once we get it all together and get them, get them fluffed up, okay? So now you're going to do that with each one of these three. Oh, they match my nails. I got snowflakes on my nails, too. <laughs> so you got the snowflakes on the front, and then I put a different snowflake design on the underside. Okay, and we're doing that with all three. Now, if this is hard for your hands or if you have arthritis, something like that, Use a, a clothespin. That'll help a lot. Okay, now we're going to take our wire and we're just going to wrap it around. See, wrap it around the center right there just to hold everything in place. And then we're going to tighten it up and twist it around on the back. Boink. Okay, now just twist it, twist it, twist it, and trim off the ends. Okay, so now let's see. Let's just put the glue right here and now let's position this this is hard because i'm kind of like looking through the camera here just position your tie angel on top of the wings like so don't, don't worry about what your wings look like right now we're going to fluff them up and reposition them here in a minute just get it glued down okay just glue it down and let that set up all right so this is what we have so far now for the halo i know i wish i had some uh silver pipe cleaner but you know everybody always thinks of the halos as being gold so you know what i want to use this gold one you see i just kind of bent it into a loop and now i'm just going to kind of twist the ends together like so and then let's cut it i don't know well, oh i made a lasso <laughs> so i wonder when was the lasso okay just cut it like so and then we're going to bend this down now 
put it around this because like I said, you're gonna use this to hang it. So I'm just going to, let's trim this down just a little bit more like so. And you can leave this off if you want to, no big deal. Just gonna put a little bit of hot glue right there and then hold that in place and let that glue set up. Okay, so this is what we have. I'll straighten this out here in a minute. Um, but anyway, you could put your um, you could put your hanger of choice through the ornament there. But now, the only thing that's left to do is you just fluff up your wings a little bit. See, like I said, it'll it'll look good in the end. Okay, uh, bless his heart. We just been flopping him all over this table, and but it'll be okay. You just fluff the wings up a little bit, and um, and it'll look okay. So let me get it fluffed up. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put anything here around the neck or anything in the hands. Um. I do have some snowflakes over here from Dollar Tree that might, you know, help to reflect the snowflake in the wings. I don't know. We'll see. Let me get it all fluffed out. We'll take a look. Okay. So this is what I was saying that I have, this uh, foam scatter. This is from Dollar Tree. And you can see these really cute little snowflakes here. I thought this might be cute on there. My goodness. I wish y'all could see this table beside my craft table. It is in horrendous shape. <laughs> It's got so much stuff piled up on it. Okay. And I think what I want to do is just put a little dot of glue right there. And I have this set to low temp, okay, so that it won't melt this foam. I think I'm just going to put it right there on the hands. Kind of make it look like the hands are, like, holding it. And I think that'll be good. Okay, I don't think I want to put anything around the neck. Um, it's because this is, you know, like, for a memorial with, like, the tie, you know, like, for... Um, the dad or, you know, grandfather, uncle, who, whomever, whomever. Um, so I don't think I'm going to put anything here. I think that'll be just fine right there. But I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty daggum happy with it. And then you just hang it right here. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.